Hallelujah, it's Sunday and we are happy to share this day with you and please join us in our online Sunday and Healing Divine Service. Maganda po ang ating topic for today, Real Faith, ang totoong pananampalataya, the victory to faith. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. If you are born of God, you have all the rights to overcome kung ikaw ay ipinanganak sa Panginoon. Nasa iyo lahat ang karapatan para magtagumpay to become victorious in this life. Amen? You are born of God if you believe that Jesus is the Christ. And being in Christ is the victory that overcomes every situation. Amen? Ang tagumpay natin ay na kay Jesus. And we achieve this victory through faith. Hallelujah! So, receiving what Jesus has provided for us is by faith. Kailangan mong maniwala. Kailangan mong magtiwala. Kailangan mong ang kininito sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen? We gain our victory through faith. Hallelujah! Sabi nga ng 1 John chapter 5, verse 4-5. to It declares, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Hallelujah! And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Our faith. Hallelujah. That's it, amen. The victory that overcomes the world is through our faith. Amen. Who he who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. That's the key. When you start believing Jesus. With all your heart that He is the Son of God. Amen. He is the Lord. He is the Messiah. It says that we will overcome this world. Hallelujah. You are victorious. No matter what you are facing today, God has destined you for victory. And what you need is to believe. You need to be by faith. Hallelujah. God is the Father of faith. Remember that. And in the beginning, even from the beginning, He intended His children to live by faith. Amen? Mula pa lang sa paumpisa, ginusto ng Panginoon na makapamuhay tayo na may pananalig sa Kanya. So that we could live in victory in every situation of our lives. Totoo, si Adan nagkasala. Amen? He had, Adam may have fallen to sin. His faith had been replaced by fear. Pero may ginawang Diyos. God is good. He sent Jesus to redeem us. To redeem man from the curse of sin and restore man to the state he was before. Ano bang state ng tao before? Before Adam sin. Amen? That's the state of victory through faith. Hallelujah. Sabi nga ng Galatians chapter 3, verse 14. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Praise the Lord. Having become a curse for us, for it is written, Curse is everyone that hangs at on a tree. That blessing, take note of this, that the blessing of Abraham might Come upon the Gentiles. Sino yun? Tayo yun. In Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hallelujah. So if you accepted Jesus as your Lord by faith, you are redeemed from the curse of the law. Purihin ng Diyos na dakila. Amen? And you were placed in the state of victory in the state of blessing. Amen? And that blessing is the same blessing that have given to Abraham. Purihin ng Panginoon. Yung pagpapala kay Abraham ay nasa atin na it's a state of victory, the state of blessing because we believe. We believe on Jesus. Amen? And we are able to receive the promise of the Holy Spirit through faith. Hallelujah! But remember, tatandaan natin to. Enjoying what Jesus has provided. Yung victory, yung healing, yung blessing, and many more. Tandaan po natin to. They are all received by faith. It's by faith as you have received Jesus. Paano ba tinanggap si Jesus? It's also by faith. Hallelujah! 
So living a real Bible faith should be our lifestyle. Yan ang paraan ng pamumuhay natin. We live by faith, and when we live by faith, we live by Bible-based faith. Hallelujah! Hindi haka-haka, kuro-kuro, ito ay nakabasis sa salita ng Diyos. Sabi nga ng Galatians 3.11, the just, what it means just, those who believe to Jesus shall live by faith. Hallelujah! To God be the glory. Kaya living by faith, is a way of life. Kung ikaw ay kinakay Kristo, yan na ang pamamaraan ng buhay natin. Amen? It is the standard of living in God. Amen? If you are in Christ, and you are in God, you should live by faith daily in the Lord. Amen? Kaya nga, ang tunay na biblical na pananampalataya, Always want to know what God said in His words. Yun yun eh. Amen? And applying what God has said in every situation ng buhay natin. Kinukuha natin ang sinabi ng Panginoon at kung anong sinabi ng Diyos, yan ang sinasama natin sa buhay natin. Kaya today, it's a very exciting day. We will learn real faith. A faith that brings you, brings me, bring us to Victory! Hallelujah! Kaya before we continue in behalf of Perfect Church Worldwide Ministries, ating spiritual director, Bishop Ross M. Nasuelo, ang ating senior pastor, Reverend Dr. Alex Nasuelo, ito po yung lingkod, Reverend Dr. Jane Nasuelo, Pastor James Short. Amen! Hallelujah! Greeting you a blessed Sunday! Please get your pen, get your notebook, take some notes, at pag-aralan nyo po ito. Naniniwala po ko kung ang standard ng pamumuhay ay by faith. We need to master this lifestyle. Amen? We need to learn more about faith. Amen? And another please, comment po kayo sa ating comment sections. Amen? If you have some prayer requests. Amen? If you have things that the Lord has told you, please write there. Amen? As a grace, you can also mention your friends kung gusto nyo sila ma-inform sa napakagandang mensahe ng Diyos. So, rest ito. And please don't forget to follow our page, Prepit Church Worldwide Ministries, amen, uh, ating YouTube channel also, please subscribe, amen, sabay po natin yan, Facebook and YouTube right now, amen, you could watch there, amen, you could subscribe to our channel, Sigaw ng Tagumpay, amen, Sigaw ng Tagumpay, amen, you could click the notification bell doon, para sa grace ng Lord, lahat ng magagandang mensahe ng Diyos, ay ating marinig sa biyaya ng Panginoon. So today, let's uh, start reading our scripture. Basahin po natin sa Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34. That's nine verses. Okay, let's read it. Marcos chapter 5, verse 24. Sabi dito, Kasama rin doon ang isang babaeng labing dalawang taon ng dinudugo. Hirap na hirap siya sa sakit niyang yun, at marami ng doktor ang sumuri sa kanya. Naubos na kanyang ari-arian sa pagpapagamot, ngunit hindi pa rin siya gumaling. Sa halip, lalo pang lumala ang kanyang karamdaman. Nabalitaan niyang tungkol kay Jesus, kaya nakipagsiksikan siya hanggang sa makalapit sa likuran nito. At hinipo ang damit nito. Take note of this. Ba't niya hinipo? Sabi sa verse 20, sapagkat iniisip niya, mahipo ko lang ang kanyang damit. Gagaling ako. Hallelujah. That's faith. Amen? Amen? Sabi sa verse 29, agad ngang tumigil ang kanyang pagdurugo at naramdaman niyang magaling na siya. That's it. Amen? Verse 30, naramdaman agad ni Jesus na may kapangyarihan labas sa kanya. Kaya bumaling siya sa mga tao at nagtanong, sino humipo sa damit? Sa aking damit. Verse 31, sumagot ang kanyang mga lagad. Nakikita po ninyong napakaraming nagsisiksikan sa paligid ninyo. So there is so much people around Jesus. Bakit po ninyo itinatanong kung sino ang humipo sa damit ninyo? Verse 32, subalit lumingon na lumingon si Jesus upang tignan kung sino humipo sa damit niya. Palibhasa ay alam ng babae ang nangyari. Siya ay nanginginig sa takot na lumapit kay Jesus. Nagpatira pa at ipinagtapat ang buong katotohanan. Verse 34, subalit Sinabi sa kanya ni Jesus, Anak, pinagaling ka ng iyong pananampalataya. Umuwi ka na at ipanatag mo ang iyong kaloban. Ikaw ay magaling na. To God be the glory. That's a great message from the Lord. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, thank you Lord sa word mo. Hayaan mo Panginoon na tumimo sa aming puso. 
ang buhay pananampalataya. Nam araw-araw, Lord, that we may live in accordance to your word, in accordance to your faith, in accordance to your lifestyle, and in accordance to your standard, Lord, in Jesus' name. And then, Lord, today, teach us the real Bible faith, that faith that overcomes the world to our faith. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. We ask this Holy Spirit, guide us, inspector people, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Katulad doon sa story, okay, na binasa natin, the woman ay may issue of bleeding for 12 years. Sipi mo yun, 12 years ka nang dinudugo. Amen? She suffered a lot. Kung hirap lang talaga matindi ang dinaanan ng taong ito. Naubos ang lahat ng kanyang ari-arian. Everything he has to be healed. But no matter what she did, dami ng doktor ang kanyang titintahan. She grew worse. Imbis na gumaling, lalo siya lumala. But what changed her life? Ano bumago sa kanyang buhay? What changed her situation? What brings her to the most awaited healing? Sabi dito ni Jesus, Your faith, Amen, Hallelujah, Your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Mark chapter 5 verse 34. Kaya today, we will learn real faith. Yung sila sabi ni Jesus, ano bumago sa kanya? Your faith has healed you. Let's deal with those things. Amen? Because he believed Jesus by faith. And he acted on faith. Amen? And today we will learn the real faith. A faith that brings you to victory. So our team, how to receive your victory through faith. Amen? So number one, Real faith never gives up. Remember that. Ang tunay na biblical na pananampalataya hindi umaayaw. Hallelujah. Yung babaeng ito na subject for bleedings for many years. Nung narinig na si Jesus. Amen. Was coming. Amen. She came behind him in the crowd and touched his clothes. Nung narinig na si Jesus Christ sa paraan. Ano ginawa ng babae? Pumunta siya, lumakad siya, palapit kay Jesus para mahawakan ang kanyang likod, mahipo lang ang laylayan ng kanyang damit. Bakit niya ginawa ito? Because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Amen? That's faith. Mahipo ko lang ang kanyang laylayan na kanyang damit. Gagaling ako. It may sound easy. Okay, mukhang madaling pakinggan na mahipo lang pala, gagaling. But there was a great of great crowd surrounding Jesus. Napakadaming tao that time. Amen? It may be thousands of people all packed which make it, it impossible na mahawakan niya si Jesus. Pero pasinin niyo to. But despite impossibility, mukhang impossible. The woman never gave up. Ganon din tayo. Mukhang imposible, pero huwag ka nga ayaw. Kaya yan. Amen? Never give up. Amen? He never gave up her faith. Amen? That the moment she was able to touch the clothes of Jesus, she will be healed. Hindi niya inayawan yon. Nakita niya ang daming tao, pero sabi niya, tutuloy ako. Hihipuin ko yung dami ng dami ng Diyos, kahit laylayan lang. Amen? Take note of that in term name. Kahit lay lay even the age. Because ganun kahira pipuin si Jesus because of the great crowd. Same with us. We may face impossibilities on things we believe. Imposible pastor magkabahay. Imposible pastor magkasakyan. Imposible pastor magkapamil. Imposible mangyari. Alam nyo, even we face those impossibilities. If you really believe, kung naniniwala ka talaga, you will never give up. Because real Bible faith never gives up. Kahit imposible yan, yung iyong pananampalataya, it pushes those challenges away. Amen? And it moves every difficulties and overcome every test because of faith. Alam niyo po, most people would have given up okay, when they face this such difficulty. Kung ikaw siguro lalagay doon sa babae, baka sabi mo, sa kanya lang uwihi po kapag makunti na lang ang tao. But this woman, 
but this lady with an issue of bleeding never give up his faith. Amen? Kaya sa oras nito, kung ikaw ay nakalagay sa isang sitwasyon na mahihirap, I challenge you. The Lord is challenging. Never give up. Never give up the faith. Amen? Isang araw sasagahan na rin tayo. Isang araw magiging matagumpay din tayo. The most omitted promotion will happen. Amen? The child that we are praying for many years will come in Jesus' name. The healing that you are desperate to happen will come even if it is impossible. Kaya sinabi ng doktor na hindi ka gagaling. But you start believe, things will change. Amen? Pasinin niyo itong babaeng ito. Despite pain, despite weaknesses, despite suffering, she started making her way through the crowd to reach Jesus. Mahirap yun. Can you imagine? What she may have done just to reach in. Ano ba ginawa niya? Nagsisiksik ang tao. Amen? But she reached in. The woman fought her way till she reached Jesus. Pansin niyo kung gaano kahirap ang ginawa niya. She nangihina for more than 12 years of bleeding. Hindi ka ba mangihina doon? Amen? With all the pain, siguro nararamdaman niya plus yung mga tulak ng tao habang lumalapit kay Jesus, hindi madali. But she, walk on it. Amen? She never give up his faith that he will touch the clothes, even the edge of the garment of Jesus. She will be healed. Kaya things may be tough today. Mahirap man sa oras na ito. You may be tired believing for something for many years. Pasto, tagal na. You may be weak to reach one more step toward your desires. But I, God is challenging us. If you really believe for victory, for your victory, never give up that faith. Because that faith is a gift of Jesus to us. He died on the cross to give that faith in us. That we may be redeemed from what situation we are today. Amen? Kaya nga yung babae, The woman may be exhausted, fighting her weak body toward the great crowd just to touch Jesus. Parang napagod siya. Dahil hindi madali. Pero alam nyo, despite of exhaustion, yung hirap, amen? Her mind was no longer focused on her situation. Hindi na siya nakatingin sa kanyang sitwasyon. Nor or her nor her feelings, hindi na rin siya nakatingin sa kanyang pakiramdam, nor her weaknesses. Alam niyo na sana nakapokus yung babae, bakit kinaya niya na he will never give up that faith because she was focused on her healing. He was focused on her healing. Hindi niya na tinitignan niya sarili niya. Ang tinitignan na niya yung kanyang matatanggap. Hallelujah! As she pushed herself toward the people, siguro habang nakipagtulakan siya, nakipagsiksikan siya mga tao, she was probably rehearsing to her, ma, to her, baka sinasabi niya sa kanyang sarili, I know healing is coming. I know things are turning in my favor. I know my victory is, is at hand. I know I am close to my breakthrough and I'm healed the moment I will touch the garment of Jesus. Alam nyo, grabe. Ang kanyang isip, ay wala na sa nararamdaman niya. Ang kanyang isip ay nasa kanyang kagalingan na. Same is true with us. Don't focus on the challenges. Huwag kayo magfo-focus doon sa, Pastor, walang pambili, walang pera, hindi sapat, hindi kaya. Focus on what you believe. Doon lang tayo titingin. Remember this, to overcome challenges in reaching your victory by faith, is never focus on the challenges. Huwag kang titingin sa problema. Because when you look on the challenges, it will magnify, lalaki yan. And never also look on those impossibilities, impossible. But rather, focus on the Word of God. Dito tayo po focus. Amen? The promises of God in your life. Tandaan po natin, ang tunay na biblical na panampalataya never gives up. Amen? Never give up. Kaya a real Bible faith that never gives up is a faith that stand not on the situation, 
yung pananampalatayang hindi tumatayo sa sitwasyon, but tumatayo sa salita ng Panginoon. Amen? Sabi nga Romans 10.17, So, then faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. Ang lakas ng ating pananampalataya, the strength of your faith that will bring you to victory will be directly proportioned to the amount of the Word of God that is fed in in your life. Yung laki ng pananampalatayang meron ka para magdala sa iyo ng tagumpay ay directly may kinalaman sa oras na nilalaan mo sa salita ng Panginoon. Kaya nga, the more Word of God in your heart, the stronger your faith to stand every challenges in reaching your victory. Hallelujah! Kaya today, I challenge you, mag-attendance ka na araw-araw sa salita ng Diyos. Read it, meditate it, let it be part in your heart and live by it, apply it every moment of your life. Katulad ng babaeng ito, with an issue of bleeding for 12 years, she may not have an access to the Word of God. Wala man siyang access sa salita ng Diyos, katulad na meron tayo today. La, pero, in her heart, sa kanyang puso, she has words. Amen? Wala man siyang access sa salita ng Pero meron siyang salita ng Panginoon sa kanyang puso. Ano yun? If I just touch these clothes, if I just touch His clothes, I will be healed. So she stop focusing on what she has. Huminto siya sa pagtingin sa lahat na meron siya. Ano ba meron siya? Sickness, weaknesses, and sufferings. She stop looking on those things. She stop focusing on those things. And start focusing on what she want. Ano ba gusto niya? Healing. And by faith, she received her victory. She received her healing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Kaya nga today, we always remember, the Word of God is the source of faith. It's the source of faith. If you want victory, it needs faith. And for faith to work, it needs the Word of God. So to make your faith stand and never give up when faces with challenges, put in the Word of God in your life. And remember, Remember this, if you are believing for something right now and you face a lot of challenges and impossibilities, the Lord is telling you, never give up your faith because faith has been given to us to enforce amen, Satan's defeat in our life and we can live in victory. Hallelujah! Katulad ng sinabi sa 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, And this is the victory that overcomes the world. What it is? Our faith. Hallelujah! Kaya real Bible faith, never give up. So when you face impossibilities, focus on the Word of God and let faith make a way in your life. Hallelujah! Praise God! That's number one. Real Bible faith. Never give up, gives up. Amen? Number two. Real faith expects. Hallelujah. Alam niyo po, yung babaeng ito na may issue ng bleeding nung siya lumapit kay Jesus Christ. Sinabi niya sa kanyang sarili, If I just touch his clothes, Grabe no? If I just touch, mahawak ang kulang ang kanyang dami kahit yung laylayan, I will be healed. Mark chapter 5 verse 28. Kaya the moment the woman steps toward Jesus, sino nyo? Yung, yung babae, nag-umpisang lumakad, nakipagsiksik sa mga tao, nakipagtulakad sa mga tao, mapalapit lang kay Jesus, alam nyo? She was expecting. Hallelujah! Praise God! Amen? The woman is expecting from God. Hindi siya lumalapit na sa, sana gumaling ako pag lalahi po kong dahilahin. No! Alam niya na mahipo lang niya ang damit ni Jesus Christ. Kagaling siya because faith expects. She was imagining her healing. Nakikita niya na hindi niya pahawak pero nakikita niya na that time that he touched Jesus, 
she will be healed. He saw her healing taking place. Despite her situation, the impossibility of reaching Jesus due to the great crowd that surround Jesus, she already saw herself healed. Nakita niya na sa dili niya magaling na siya. The moment she touched Jesus' clothes. Why? She was expected. Kaya kung ikaw ay nananampalatay at nananalig kay Jesus, ikaw ay nag expect Amen? You are expecting it to happen. Kaya today, may I ask you, what are you expecting in your life? Ano ba inaasahan mo sa buhay mo? If you are, if you really believe Jesus and you believe God, you should be expecting something from them. You should be expecting for something. You're expecting that what you believe is going to happen. Amen? Okay, remember, remember this. Never let others, wag niyong papayagan, that others, even yourself, talk you out of what God has in store for you. Huwag kayo magpapadala doon sa mga taong negatibo. Hindi mo kaya, imposible. Amen? You may hear negative things about you. People may not believe you. Amen? People may not believe good things will happen to you. People are looking for your downfall. Amen? But remember this. You may be limited with many things. But if you believe God, if you believe Jesus, you just need to expect. You just need to expect because faith expects. Amen? Asahan mo na. Amen? You would not be alive today, hindi ka buhay ngayon, if God has not prepared something amazing in the future for you. Hallelujah! May hinandang Diyos sa hinaharap, kaya buhay ka ngayon. Amen? And you need to expect it by faith. Faith takes hold of things even not seen. Kahit hindi mo pa nakikita, akin na yan. So if you are talking, remember this, this, if you are talking, talk like it is going to happen. Kapag kayo nagsasalita, magsalita kang may inaasahan. If you are thinking, think like it is going to happen. When you believe, believe that is going to happen. Stop being negative and stop being fearful in the name of Jesus. Amen? Kaya nga, pag naniniwala ka, nag-iisip ka, isipin mo na mangyayari yun. Amen? When you talk, talk that it will happen. Nakita mo yung wallet mo. Amen? Walang laman. You just just say, kawawa naman ako. No. Nakita mo walang laman. Sabi mo, magkakalaman ka sa pangalan ni Jesus. Like the woman who, with an issue of bleeding for 12 years, Jesus was passing her way. Dumalo si Jesus Christ sa kanyang lugar. Amen? Pero kung ang babaeng ito kept a negative attitude, kung meron siya negative attitude, she will never get well. Because she has done everything and the doctor has rejected her. And she will miss her healing. Pero alam niyo yung babaeng ito, he kept the right attitude. Amen? Ano klaseng attitude yun? The woman was expectant. Amen? Yung babae, umaasa. May tatanggapin. Amen? She was expecting that when she touched even the edge of Jesus' garment, she will be healed. And it happened. Amen? Kaya nga, faith that expects deceives. Ang pananampalatayang naniniwalang tatanggap ay tatanggap nga. Kaya, you need to show God. Pakita mo sa Panginoon. You're ready to receive. Lord, ready ako. Amen? If you're praying for healing, you are ready for healing. You are ready for promotion. You are ready for blessing. You are ready for to get married. You are ready to be a, a parent. Amen? You are ready to prosper. You are ready for great things. There should be an expectancy. Inaasahan mo na yan. Amen? Even you don't see it, even don't you feel it, even it's impossible. But when you expect it, that's faith. Amen? Faith is not just wishing things around. will be well. 
Amen? Ang pananampalataya, hindi puro sana. Hindi sana all. That's not faith. Faith is expecting that great things will happen. Amen? So don't just wish for things. Sana, Lord. No, hindi lang sana tayo. Amen? But rather, expect it, it will happen. Lord, naniniwala ako. Yun na yun. Hindi sa sinabi mo, Lord, sana magkaroon ng sakyan. Dapat na sinasabi na, Lord, naniniwala ako, magkakasasakyan ako. If you are praying for healing, Lord, sana gumaling ako. It should be saying, Lord, thank you that you are healing me, Lord, in Jesus' name. That's expectation. Amen? Kung ikay nagpe-pray na mapapangasaw until now for many years, hindi mo sinasabi, Lord, sana ikasal na ako. No! You just say, Lord, thank you for giving me the right partner in life. Hallelujah! That's it! Kaya if you believe for healing, don't just wish one day you will be healed, but rather expect that you will be healed. Asaan mo na? Asaan mo na? You start imagining yourself healed from that sickness. Imagine mo na, magaling ka na. And you start taking God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Every step of the way. Kaya if you believe for something, don't sit around and wish it will happen. It will not work, I tell you. If you'll just wish it. Hindi pwede tayong puro sana all, sana all, sana all. If you want to have it, believe it by expecting it to happen in your life. That is faith in action that is that is victory through faith kaya if you are thinking amen if you are thinking what if i believe and expect for it it does not happen pastor paano yun nga no naniwala ko inasaan ko pero hindi nangyari i tell you it will not surely happen bakit you are expecting that it will not from your own words. Paano pa sa hindi lang yan? You are expecting it. It will not happen. So it will not happen. Because faith that expects does not think of negative things. But thinks, but thinks of what God has said and promises in the world. Yun yun. Hindi nag-iisip na negatibo, kundi nag-iisip kung anong sinabi ng Diyos. And kapag nalaman niya sinabi ng Diyos, He take hold of it even it is unreasonable. Kahit imposible pa, hinahawakan niya. Kaya remember this. God is always with us. And we are in the palm of His hand. But it is only by faith that gets His attention. Take note of that. Mahal tayo ng Lord. But if you want to get the attention of God, attention of Jesus, in your situation, you need to believe. Sabi nga ng Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6, And without faith, take note of that, it is impossible to please God. It's not meets the Lord saying it. If you want to please God, you need to walk by faith. And kinugtuhan no, because anyone who comes to Him, malalapit ka sa Kanya, must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. And He's the rewarder of people who believe, who seek God. Amen? It just means that if you want to receive great things from God, accomplish things that are difficult, anticipating for new levels and breakthroughs, you need to have faith that expects. Hallelujah! Lord, today I declare we expect great things from you in Jesus' name. That's number two. And number three, number one, real faith never gives up. Number two, real faith expects. And number three, this is very important. Real faith acts. Ang tunay na biblical na pananampalataya, kumikilos, gumagawa. Sabi sa Mark chapter 5, verse 27, katulad ng babae na ito na may issue ng bleeding for 12 years, sabi niya sa kanyang sarili, when he heard that Jesus okay, ay nasa kanyang lugar, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 5 verse 27. Lumapit siya kay Jesus at hinipon niyang damit ni Jesus. Tandaan po natin to. Believing is acting. Kag naniniwala ka, sasamahan mo ng gawa. If you believe it, you will act it. Amen? Because if you don't act it, you are just like a person who wish sana. The woman received her healing when she acted on her faith. 
she believed that the moment she touched even the edge of Jesus' garment, she will be healed. Naniniwala siya, mahipo lang niya, kaya ginawa niya, kahit napakaraming tao, nakipagsiksikan siya doon, at hinipo niya ang damit ni Jesus Christ. Despite ng kanyang pain, despite ng kanyang, kanyang weaknesses, okay, na naranasan niya sa kanyang bleeding for 12 years, humakbang siya, she still stepped toward the crowd, toward Jesus, and did what she believed and received what she expects. Ginawa niya ang kanyang pinaniniwalan. Hindi po niyang damit ni Jesus Christ. Gumaling siya. Kaya alam niyo, this is what mostly, okay, why we don't receive sometimes. Because we don't act on what we believe. We just wait it to hit us. No, you need to act on it. Because when you start acting on it, great things, it will be supplied by God. Same with us. If you want to receive what you believe, what we believe, we need to act on what we believe. Kailangan mong kumilos, gumawa, ayon doon sa kanyang sinasabi ng Panginoon. Faith, is more than accepting what you hear, see, and feel. Ang pananampalataya lang, hindi lang yan tukol sa yung nakita, narinig, naramdaman. It is believing enough to act on it. Yung nakita mo, naramdaman mo, ay ikikilos mo. If there is no action, there is no faith. Sabi nga James chapter 2, verse 17, sa amplified version, so too, faith, if it does not have, works. Ang pananampalataya ron, na wala kasamang gawa, to back it up is by, is by itself dead. Ang liwanan siya, by itself, kung siya lang, patay yun. Inoperative and effective, sabi ng scripture. So if you are believing for healing, don't stay on the bed being sick and wait for the healing to come. No, 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 no. Kung kayo masakit, naniniwala kang pinagaling ka ng Panginoon, ang unang gawin, get on the Word of God, find what the Lord says about your situation. Ano mo sinabi ng Panginoon? Isaiah 53, by His wounds stripes, you are healed. Amen? Exodus chapter 23, verse 25 to 26, when you serve the Lord your God, he will take away infirmities in your in your means. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14, ang sabi ng Panginoon, He will not allow sickness in your life. Look on what God has said about your about him. Then when you have that word, believe on it. Paniwalaan mo. And when your when when your faith is stirred up, pag yung pananampalataya mo dahil sa salita ng Diyos say, you feel it. Amen? It's in your heart. You know it's going to happen. It's time to act what God has said. Amen? Your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Katulad na sinabi niya doon sa babae, ba, babae may 12 years na inagasa ng dugo, magaling ka na. Same with us. Amen? If you believe that you're healing and you do those things, you act on it. Paano pa sila i-act yun? You start moving your body, start walking, start doing the things you can do before. And naniniwala ko, the power of God will be supplied and you will feel the healing of God. Kaya nga, if you are believing for a house, get on the word of God, believe on it, act by looking for a place to build your house. Tumingin ka kung bahay. Kung If you have a place, amen, na pwede nang tayuan, Buy few construction materials and do it. Amen. Dalawang semento, isang dang hollow blocks, pwede na. At bakit sinabi na Sakarias chapter 4 verse 10? Do not despise these small beginnings for the Lord rejoice to see work begin. Kasi yung natutuwang Diyos sa mga may maliliit na hakbangin. Because pag ikaw yung mahakbang, you are showing God that you are acting what you expect. You are acting your faith. Amen. Kaya nga, we need to act what we believe. If we truly receive what we believe, we need to act on it. We are not only hearers of the word, we are doer of the word of God. James 1, 2, 22 says, But don't just listen the word to the God's word. You must do what it says, otherwise you are only fooling yourself. 
Kung alam mo sinasabi ng Diyos at hindi mo ginagawa, niadaya mo lang sarili mo sa aming scripture. Katulad ng babaeng ito. Yung babaeng pinag-usapan natin kanina pa, na 12 years na dinudugo. She did not only believe that she will be healed. Di lang siya naniwalang gagaling siya. She did not stop expecting. Hindi lang siya kuminto na, na uh, umaasa at naniniwalang tatanggap mo lang sa Panginoon. What she did is she stepped on faith and act on her expectation. Kung expect niya, hinakbangan niya yun. And she was healed. Hallelujah. Kaya same happened kay Bartimaeus. Mare, uh, medyo pamilyar sa inyong kwento na ito, yung lalaking bulag sa Mark chapter 10. He was blind beggar sitting on the side of the road. Nung narinig niya si Jesus Christ was passing from him, alam niyo, ginawa niya, nagsisigaw siya. Sabi niya, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. If you notice, yung kanyang sinisigaw, sabi niya, son of David, Techni technically speaking, Jesus was not the son of David. Kung technical lang ha. Okay? But he was the son of Joseph. Tama, di ba tatay ni, jo ni Jesus si Joseph? Okay? But why Bartimaeus call him son of David? Ano ba meron? Because Bartimaeus recognized that Jesus was the king, the king of kings, and the Messiah, the Lord of lords. Amen? Grabing paniniwala ni Bartimaeus. Kaya he was not calling Jesus the son of Joseph. He called him Jesus, the son of David. Because Jesus is the rightful king and the rightful Lord, the Messiah. That's what Bartimaeus believed about Jesus. So to make this story short, Jesus stopped and called him. Sabi niya, Bartimaeus, tika na. Kaya nangyari, si Bartimaeus, amen, jump to his feet and throw his cloak aside, amen. Yung kanyang-kanyang cloak na nakapatok sa kanya, kanyang tinanggal yun, hinubad niya yun, and she came to Jesus, and sabi ni Jesus, ano gusto mo? I want to see. And he received his healing. He was healed from blindness. Kung titignan niyo ito, mukhang hindi naman mahalaga na tinanggal ni Bartimaeus ang kanyang cloak, yung kanyang balabal. Hindi mahalaga kung titignan niyo nyo. But according to scholars, in those days, nung panahon nila, yung, uh, yung government nila gave an official coat. Nagbibigay yung kanyang gobyerno ng isang coat. Amen? Isang balabal. That tells a person have had an illegitimate with uh, had a legitimate disability na meron sakit maaring bulag pilay bingi nagbibigay sila ng coat coat diyan and has a right to beg okay that coat signifies that you could beg pwede ka man so the beggar's coat ang tawag nila diyan beggar's coat was very valuable to them mahalaga yan yan yung kanilang source of living petanda niyo to but when Jesus called Bartimaeus, si Bartimaeus, kahit hindi niya pa natatanggap ang kanyang healing, bulag pa siya. Nung tinawag siya ni Jesus Christ, his beggar's coat, hinubad niya yun. Amen? Amen? He throws his coat, signifying his faith, that today, from this moment, Jesus called me, I am done begging. Hindi na ako mangihingi. For Jesus will heal me. He no longer look himself nung, tinang, nung siya may sakit. He no longer, nung siya bulag. Hindi niya na, nung tinawag siya ni Jesus, hindi niya na tinignan ang kanyang sariling may sakit. He no longer a disadvantage. He acted on his faith, declaring that he was no longer a victim, but a victor. And nakita ni Jesus Christ yung faith na yan. And said to Bartimaeus, Your faith has healed you. Mark chapter 10, verse 52. And immediately, Bartimaeus received his sight. Hallelujah! Kaya remember, the moment you act on the word of God, when you start act on this word, Jesus is instantly involved. Sumasama agad si Jesus Christ. Sumasa atin agad si Jesus when we start acting on the word. Because... Jesus and the Word are one. Isa lang Panginoon at kanyang salita. Amen? Sabi nga na, sa John chapter 1 verse 12, And the Word became flesh and He dwells among us. 
Sino yun? It's Jesus. Kaya naman tanda po natin to Real faith acts. Amen? Kaya bilang pangwakas, mga kapatid ko kay Lord, God desires that we live a real Bible faith. Hindi yung faith na walang basihan, kundi pananampalatayang nakabase sa salita ng Diyos. A faith that brings us to victory. Kaya living by faith is living in God's will. It's living by God's will and living in God's abundance. So if you are for God, kung ikay sa Diyos, ikay kay Kristo, you must live by faith. Amen? Kaya to walk in real faith, to walk in real faith, you need to get into the Word of God. I always remind, get into the Word of God. Find what God thinks about your situation. If you need protection, look on what the Word of God is telling about protection, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Amen? You get in the Word, look on, on things you want, then take God's thought and instructions and believe that. Paniwala mo. Instead of the natural circumstances. When you start believing it, then act on it. Hakbangan mo yun. And when you involve yourself to the Word of God, and you believe it, you involve Jesus in your situation, and it will bring you to victory. Because there is victory by faith in Christ Jesus. Kaya nga, remember, real faith, number one, never gives up. Number two, it always expect. And number three, it acts. Real faith acts. Kaya, as you, as a believer, you an on, you are an overcomer. Amen? Bilang mananampalataya, ikaw ay mananagumpay. And sabi ng scripture, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Hallelujah! Kaya, who is, who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Hallelujah! Kaya today, I believe, victory. We have victory. We have victory through faith in Christ Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Kaya today, I will not end this broadcast, this service, without giving you the opportunity to make Jesus as your Lord. Sabi ng scripture, who, who overcomes the world? Those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Do you believe it? If you believe it right now, sumunod ka sa mixing panalangin ito. And I do believe it is a faith that acts. Pananampalatayang kubikilos. Kaya sabi mo to sa imibig na parang ikaw ang nanalangin. Sabi mo, Panginoong Jesus, sa oras na ito, patawarin niyo po ako sa lahat ng aking kasalanan. Panginoong Yesus, tinatanggap kita sa aking buhay bilang aking Panginoon at sariling takapagligtas. Maghali ka sa aking buhay mula ngayon at magpakilanman sa pangalan ni Yesus. Amen. Hallelujah. If you receive Jesus, sa buhay mo naniniwala kong you're born again. Na born again ka. You're born of God. And if you're born of God, and you have faith, you overcome the world. Hallelujah! Okay, let's pray today. Father God in heaven, I pray for all who join us in this service, to those who listen to these words. And I pray, and to those who will listen in this message of yours, I declare that their faith continuously to operate mightily. And let that faith, Lord God, never give up. Always expect and always acts in Jesus' name. And I pray that everyone will grow in the Word of God. That this world, letting this world be involved sa kanilang buhay. And we always believe that Jesus will be involved in us. Kaya today, sino man may sakit, mula ulo hanggang pa sa pangalan ni Jesus, sabi mo, Panginoon, sa mga lata at sugat mo, pinagaling mo kami. Kaya today, I declare healing from the top of your head to the shore of your feet. Be healed in Jesus' name. Sino man, Panginoon, ino-oppress ng kaaway right now, we resist Satan and its and its foes in, and, and his devils in Jesus' name. And he has no more power 
over us in Jesus' name. And I declare the power of Jesus covering. I plead the blood of Jesus upon your people. Send forth your angels, Lord God, to guard us and to ministers. In the name of Jesus, we are protected. And we declare your words, your promises, our armor and protection. We activate it right now. We wear the whole armor of God in Jesus' name. And we pray to those who are believing for something in their life. Today, Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus, let it be done according to your words. Thank you, Lord, for the great things that you have poured upon us. And we receive the victory that overcomes the world through faith in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, to all the great honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah! I pray na sana po yung mensaheng ito ay naging pagpapala po sa inyo. Amen? If you'll be a bless, amen, please just write in the comment section at naniniwala po kami masaya ang aming puso na makapaglingkod sa Panginoon for His glory. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Please subscribe. Please follow our page, Perfect Church Worldwide Ministries and ating YouTube channel, Sigaw ng Tagumpay. Please subscribe and click the notification button, bell doon para palagi kayong notified sa ating mga new, inspiring messages of God that it will empower us it will push us to victory in Christ Jesus hallelujah mamaya mayroon pa po tayong gawain sa Panginoon amen uh, around 10, 10 11:30 with Reverend John Brother stand up for Jesus please hear that great message of God napakaganda and around 3:30 p.m. with Pastor Rake uh, Amante the pastor's role amen this month is a pastor's Pastor's Month and Happy Pastor's Month sa lahat ng mga kamanggagawa natin sa ubasan ng Panginoon. Amen? The Lord will surely reward all our service to Him. Amen? And lastly, with uh, our senior pastor, 5.30 p.m., okay, surrender all to God. Wow! Hallelujah! In your pain, surrender it to God. Your problems, surrender to God. And God, by faith, will work on your behalf. He is the God who makes a way. Hallelujah! Kaya salamat sa Panginoon for being with us today. And salamat po greeting you a blessed Sunday with my family, Lisa, and my daughter, Shalab. And greeting you a blessed Sunday. Kaya in behalf of Prayer Faith Church Worldwide Ministries, ang ating spiritual director, Bishop Ross M. Nasuelo, ating uh, uh, senior pastor, Reverend Dr. Alex Nasuelo. Ito po yung Lincoln, Reverend Dr. Jane Nasuelo. Pastor Jane Short, greeting you a blessed Sunday. Always remember, si Jesus ay Panginoon at mahal na mahal ka na Jesus. And what you expect, always receive it by faith. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. Glory to God.